Hello everyone, welcome back to a brand new Jedi Survivor video guys, today we've got a fun one. For all my Force Unleashed fans out there, this is going to be an incredible video. Today I'm teaching you guys how to make Star Killer from Force Unleashed 1 and 2. So we're going to be going over both of his looks that he rocked in the first and second game. I'm really excited for this video. Um, I still remember watching my brothers play Force Unleashed and... It looked like a lot of fun. I, you know, I, I hope to buy it and then play it, play it, um, for the first time. But, you know, I, it's a staple to the Star Wars games. Everyone knows about the Force Unleashed. So let's make Darth Vader's apprentice. Without further ado, let's get straight into it. Ready? It is time to work on the lightsaber, which is one of my favorite lightsabers to make in this game, and I'm really excited to do it. So that for the emitter, you actually want Rebel Hero. I've been told that if you don't have Rebel Hero, the Harmony is probably the closest in the game. I could be wrong though, so let me know if I am wrong. But if you don't have it, use Harmony. Vents don't matter. What we want for the Switch is you're going to want this good old Scrapyard. For our Grip, you're going to want probably one of my favorites in the whole game. You're going to want the Serenity, which you can buy at the shop on Jetta. And then for our Pomo, Pomel, which you can also buy at the shop from Jeddah as well, you're going to want Assembly. Uh, and you can kind of go do the same, same deal here as well. So let me go ahead and do that real quick. Alright, so there we go. Obviously for Blade, we want it to be on Red. Like I said, I'm playing on New Game Plus now. And it just makes it look real darn nice. Now, for our materials. For primary, you want to go Dunium, which is a really cool, cool look. And we usually use Imperial Chrome, but not this time. For secondary, you also want to go Dunium, because why not? It looks really cool. For accent, uh, you can really use about really whatever you want that has that copper color. But if you have the copper one, um, for accents, use copper. It just looks the best and it really kind of cleans her up a little bit for grip you're going to want to use plastoid black and condition on pristine but if you really want to make it look more rusty kind of like he has in the game you can go ahead and go ancient doesn't really matter or you can go aged a little bit but for me i like running mine on pristine on pristine so that's what we're going to kind of keep it as because i think it just looks the best so there is his lightsaber from the first game and if you have split sabers it looks the best let me show you guys how to make Cal Kestis look like force unleashed one star killer alrighty so let's start with the hair so for our first hairstyle you want to go buzz cut which you buy at Doma shop it's just him because you know he's bald or he has a buzz cut and he's not really bald he has a buzz cut in the game so why not have give Cal the buzz cut as well just to make him look good um, if you guys want to you can go short beard or you can just go stubble. Um, or clean probably is going to be your best bet. I'm going to go clean, but I stubble also looks kind of good for him. But for the sake of the video, I'm going to go clean. So you can really kind of choose what you want to do. For our jacket, you're going to go to the scrapper. And you're going to want to go kind of this red and black style. It just looks really cool. And it's probably the closest we're going to get to the main jacket he wears in the game. For shirt, you're going to want to go to Wanderer, and you want to kind of do this second, kind of second style right here. I think that this one is an absolutely gorgeous piece. I think it just looks absolutely incredible, and I think it looks so good. And then for pants, same thing. You want to go Wanderer as your first pants. So there is Force Unleashed 1 Star Killer. I think that this one looks insane it looks really cool especially with the split sabers i really do love this customization option it does look really cool um like i said i really like it um let me know what you guys think of it now let's go to the force unleashed 2 star killer or galen should i say Alrighty, so let's work on the force unleashed 2 lightsaber now I'm not going to be able to have this exact because what you need is you need some of the hermit pieces and i'll tell you if you have the hermit to put it where uh, kind of 
so you can see but i didn't pre-order the game so i don't have the hermit pieces so if you have the hermit pieces i'll tell you where to put them and you can do it there but if you don't have the hermit then just follow this guide so for the emitter you're going to want harmony for vents don't matter for now the switch you can use um you know obviously you can use um the hermit but like i said i don't have it so i'm going to go with the hunter i think that looks just kind of the closest um without actually having it and also for the grip you also need the hermit but if you don't have it i think you go centauri kree i think that also looks darn good as well and then for the palmel you're gonna want to go enor cordovas um and then kind of the whole whole same thing kind of right over here as well i think it's yeah just kind of the whole 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 same thing you you want the whole whole shebang too over here then obviously put the palm out and no cordobas now for the lightsaber materials um for the um primary you want to go plastoid black secondary once again you want to go plastoid black for accent once again you are going to go plastoid or sorry not plastoid black you want to go imperial chrome and for grip you also once again want to go imperial chrome as well condition obviously pristine and blue blade that's how you make the force unleashed to a lightsaber i think it looks the best without having the hermit stuff now let's go make once again our cow look like our force unleashed to galen Alrighty, so for the hair, once again, you want to go the buzz cut. No beard or stubble beard, doesn't matter. Uh, for jacket, you're going to go to the bandolier, which you can buy at a Doma Shop. And you want to kind of go this little blue style. Where did you go? This little, this little blue style here. That's what you want. You want this... Want the blue style? I think it just looks the best for Galen. I really do. For shirt, you are going to go and you're going to do Frontier. Why didn't that jacket not save? Come on, cooperate with me here. All right. And then for pants, you're going to go Commander Pants. Yeah, so that is practically our Force Unleashed 2 Galen. I think that this one also looks good. Yeah, these these two are super easy and super fun to make. You just need a, a couple more things to, to get, um, such as the Wanderer stuff. You have to go to Jetta, and then you have one here on Kobo to get. Other than that, these are very fairly easy to make, and I really love these. So, thank you all so much for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.